Unbelievable. And let's take you through exactly how this thing went down because it was just an impressive performance once again. McKinley Wright. Whoo, Jared Lucas. Here we go. Early on. The turnover, Lucas with the steal, and then that's a nice pass there to you know, Zach Reichel. You know it'd be fascinating, Ash, is to see game tape from like November of Oregon State and then tonight. It's just been improving all season long, as you mentioned in the pregame. There's uh, Wright with the rebound and one. Water he missed the free throw, though, and I will tell you that was kind of the one of the biggest issues for the Buffs tonight. We'll get more on that in a minute. Maurice Kalu, how about him? Out of nowhere, sometimes it's a guy you're not expecting to step up. He stepped up big time. The Beavs had six triples in the first half. That's the most they've had in a half all season long. Batty, he played well for the Buffs. The lay-in, Colorado within seven. Late in the first, it's Kalu again, the tough jumper over Jariah Horn. He wasn't in the Colorado scouting report, I don't think, so he got loose a he lot. Did. 15 points for him tonight. Early second half. Mm. And does he take tough shots? But he makes, makes them. a lot of them. Yeah. Oregon State up five. About a minute later, right? We've seen him do that a lot. He knew he wasn't going away no matter what the score was, and he didn't. Well, and when that happened, it was kind of like, okay, is this the turning point now? The Beavs run out of steam. Once Colorado got the lead, you get a little nervous if you're an Oregon State fan, but they responded in a big way. That was a big bucket by Warrior Alatiche. The rebound and the putback. And Oregon State at five, and we saw them do it against Oregon. They just sustained yeah. a couple of big runs. You know why? Because they believe. I'm telling you, it's all belief. They thought they could win. They knew they could win, and they won. Kalu, another three. And then later, Thompson, he, you know, he had foul trouble in the first half, didn't play as much as we've seen him, but made a big shot there. Oregon State up four. And then Alatiche at the line later. It's no good, but Lucas. Who makes winning plays? Lucas will get credit for the three, but it's the tip out that made that happen. All right, two minutes to go. Tinkles are going nuts. As usual. <laughs> As they always are. It'd be fun to be in the Tinkle family tonight, I'm just going <laughs> to say. Deshaun Schwartz, you know, he had the tip-in game winner for the Buffs last night against USC. Hits a huge triple there. What a play. That was a design play. Misdirection individually. Alatiche executes. All right, so Lucas hit a couple of free throws late, and then here it is, McKinley. How did this go in? His first three of the game, the only second three that he took the entire night. Two guys draped all over, I mean, falling away. Hadn't made one all night. Kept a minute late. So that one goes down, and it's a three-point ball game with six seconds to go. And I mentioned Lucas, he hit a couple of he had three big free throws, but he missed that one, and so McKinley's going to have a shot, and this was a smart foul. Hard play. I do it every, not sometimes, every time, up three. All right, and a second and a half left, and it is no good. McKinley, by the way, hit both of those free throws. We think he tried to miss the second one, but that is how this thing ends, and it is the Beavs celebrating. How about it? Whew. I'll, I'll tell you what, Ash. This team's about to break the all-time free throw record percentage-wise. And it really hurt them tonight. It was a free throws. It was. It was a huge storyline and certainly the difference when you think about all of the uh, things that could have gone differently in a game and you lose by two points. We'd seen Colorado come back against Cal, come back against USC and won those games by a total of five points.